God hates guns. God is pleading with us not to buy a gun. Whether you are planning to buy one for self-defense, hunting, or for any other reasons, God is calling all people to not to buy guns. God doesn't want you to buy guns for your collection either. There are many potential serious problems that will likely arise by owning a gun. It creates multitude of problems because when you buy a gun, it invites the devil, demons, to be drawn into your life. The type and class of demons that not used to be in your life will now come and you will likely be negatively influenced by them, leading you into violence or commit serious crime by using a gun to shoot someone or people. Even though you may have no intention on killing people with your gun, it can lead to that very quickly as the demons will drive your desire to pull the trigger to shoot somebody if you are fallen into a dangerous situation. It gets even worse if you are planning to buy guns to prepare when the martial law comes into effect and crimes arise in this nation. You will surely use the gun to attempt to defend yourself when God could have protected you. If you don't own a gun and rely on God, He will protect you and prevent people from robbing your place or come and rape you. God protects those that rely on God, those that cling to God and follow Him and those that are innocent. Those that don't know God in person at least call on the name of Jesus and ask Him to protect you, and He will, as His name has tremendous power and repairs the devil at the sight. The criminals can't do much about it once the devil flees. You won't be harmed by them. That is how closely and powerfully angels are at work following God's order. If you carry a gun or own a gun, God may take away that protection from you or reduce that protection. You'll be more exposed to devil's attack and more dangerous events may come in your way. The devil gets excited and stimulated when you carry a gun because it gives them opportunity to use you for their Satan's kingdom, which is to divide and kill people. Therefore, not using a gun will come to your favor as God protects those that are defenseless and reliant on God. God wants you to depend on Him, not depend on your weapon. Some people are entitled to use guns that are approved by God, such as policemen, military officers, even security guard. You need guns to do your job, and God knows that. They will be protected by God as long as they rely on Him for protection. God knows what is best for every individual. He allows certain people to have guns that He sees fit for His purpose. And there will be times God will not allow them to use or carry guns. God is calling us to come to Him and receive His Spirit to become born again. Then you will surely know God wants you to have a gun or not. 
you will follow His guidance, and you will realize that obedience to God will be your priority, not guns. Owning a gun opens the doorway for the devil to rule over your life. Let God take care of you and protect you instead. The Bible scripture I quoted also supports this. Jesus said, Those that kill with sword will die by the sword. Jesus ordered his followers to put away the sword. Jesus bless you. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, then kissed him. Jesus replied, Do what you came for, friend. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it out, and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father, and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say, it must happen in this way?